Hey guys, I'm outside and I got my app. I'm gonna put the description below. If you want this app on your phone, I have an iPhone, so I don't know if you could have it on your phone. But anyways, I'm gonna put a link below. And I'm here facing the sky. And it's really cool because you can see the constellations drawn in front of you. Um, there's Venus right there. You could just point at it. Like I'm doing it right now with the app and it'll tell you it's Venus. And uh, yeah, the planets are placed in Vedic astrology on the sky because it won't show tropical because tropical is when you know the planets are like hitting you where you are with the sun's the sun's rays hitting you you know there's a certain science to that and i'm not gonna get to that but you got saturn you got uh jupiter and wow look at look at the sky how awesome look at scorpio right there uh look at libra as you can see jupiter's in libra and vedic uh let's see what else it's just a beautiful night look at the stars This is a really cool app. You just pull, point anywhere and it just tells you all the directions. Look, I'm pointing to the floor. Okay, there's the, the telescope uh, that's in the other side of the earth. And, and it's very precise because I've checked it in other times. Here's the, the Great Barrier or I think a Fucus, not sure. Uh, let's see. There's a satellite. Not sure what satellite that is. Okay, so I wanted to do this video mostly to show you the app and also to explain to you that whenever you feel a planetary retrograde affecting you, it's actually not an external thing, it's actually an internal thing. For example, Mars is currently ro uh, rotating, retrograding, and Mars rules the sacral chakra. So for those people that are born with Aries, ascendant you may be feeling very frustrated for those people that are born with scorpio ascendant you may be feeling like you want to fight someone and you got a lot of anger if you have mars natal mars in your first house you may be sleeping the whole day my mom's a leo rising and she's got mars in the first house and she's been sleeping like crazy if you have virgo or gemini rising then you're going to be overdoing things you're going to feel like you, you, you're you losing things and you're misplacing things because Mercury is currently going retrograde in Leo. If you have Leo rising, you may be feeling like you have to reevaluate things, you know, about yourself, about your wardrobe, about how you look because Mercury is currently going retrograde in your first house, Leo. Okay. Uh, for Pisces, that's ruled by Neptune, Neptune is currently going retrograde. You may be feeling uncreative. Okay. And maybe you're not taking, you know, drugs or maybe you're not taking anything that you usually take to disassociate, you know, maybe drinking, maybe anything. It could be anything. It doesn't have to really be dr drugs or drinking, but it's something you do to unload. Maybe you're not doing it because you don't feel like it. You're just feeling creative. And same goes for people who have Mars in the 12th house because 12th house ruled by Neptune. Okay. Uh, those two are retrograde and you may be feeling uncreative and definitely, you know, un really unmotivated. You know, your sacral chakra is completely dried. <laughs> so whenever you have a, a planet rotating, retrograding, then it affects your chakras. It's actually happening inside of you. It's not happening outside. And that's what I wanted to make the point of the app, showing you the app. That when I look outside every night, I'm actually looking inside of me. <laughs> I know it's deep, right? I'm actually looking inside of me. So right now, currently, you got several planets, several, I'm, I was gonna say planets, chakras rotating backwards inside of your body. There's a lot of them. So you're feeling these, these, so you're feeling this very heavy effect, like you're trying to go forward, but you can't, you know? It's a very, very heavy month here in August. So you just have to really hold on, hold on, and know it's going to be over. <laughs> and, you know, it, it just happens. It just happens. Just use this retrograde energy to reevaluate things in your life and just make it better once they go direct. That's the attitude, okay? Once it goes direct, now you can use all this energy that you've been using, evaluating things, rethinking things, going over things, to use it as beneficial you know, when they go direct, okay? 
I had to reevaluate all my cosmetics, all my creams, all my, because I was just getting allergic. I, I started getting brain fog. And now once I buy the right things, once I buy the right cosmetics, the green ones, it's gonna go away. And it went away because I stopped using the cosmetics these days. And I've, I've been feeling very clear-minded ever since. But had I continued that path, had they been direct all this time, I would have never stopped and taken a look at my makeup bag, you know. So I would have been unhealthy, I would have been full of lead and all these chemicals. So it serves you for a purpose, guys. All right. I don't want to make this video long. I'm going to go to sleep and I hope you guys have a really good night. Namaste.